Yes! We did it, V! We did we, it, Spine and Jack! We stopped them from uploading the safe house location to Project Zorgo! The safe Woo! house is safe again! Yeah, we did it! Oh my gosh, it was so worth it! We can never let them find the location. Right now, only Melvin knows the location of the safe house. Yeah, this is public enemy number two. Let's go upstairs. We need to get in contact with Daniel and Regina and let them know what happened. All right. Let's go! Yes! Okay, all right. Come on, Chad! Here, v, give me the camera. Thanks, I'm gonna go change anyways. Okay, V, yeah, you go change your clothes. Okay. We need to figure out how to stop this computer from setting off all these booby traps. We need to get in there because there's information on me, on V, probably on Daniel and Regina too, maybe Melvin, all of our histories, our parents, everything could probably be in that computer. I'm gonna call Daniel and see if he can hack the computer and turn off all those booby traps. Okay, I wanna call Daniel Oh, V, nice outfit. Hey, hey. look at this. Wow, a CWC jacket. And buttons. And buttons, wow, so cool. All right, yeah, get your phone out, let's call Daniel. Okay. Whoa, doorbell, who could be here? Who is that? Did, did, did you invite somebody over? No, Chad, I would never invite anyone over, especially in this time. I can see who it is. Oh my gosh, it's Perlita! Is it Perlita? It's Perlita, Perlita! Where? Perlita! Where? Oh my gosh! What's the matter? Where have you been? I... What, what are you doing? Sleep. 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 Why are you Why so are tired? You yeah, where have you been? La dormir, por favor. Okay, but where have you been? <sighs> who La have mochila. you been hanging out with? Where have you been Secret. sleeping? Mochila. Mochila? Mochila? Is that backpack? Back? Is that backpack? Back. Back. Mochila? What's so uh, special about uh, it? Why are you so on? tired? Who have you been with? Have you been with Project Zargo? See? Si. You've been with Project Zargo? Oh no, she's going to bed. I think she said the secrets are in the bag. I think she said that in Spanish. So wait, are we supposed to go in this bag? Perlita! Perlita! Do you hear her snoring? She must be really tired. Chad, she's sleeping. Do you think we should unmask her? Yeah, now's the time to see who she is. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay, okay. I, I think that's a signal, Chad. You know what? We shouldn't unmask her because she didn't give us permission to unmask her. It's just not the right thing to do. Yeah, and one of the Spine Ninja tenants is mm. being honest. It sounds like she wants us to go through this bag. She said the secrets are in the bag. Let's go out here. Let's let her sleep, okay. and we'll go to the kitchen. Hey, Spine Ninjas. It's me, Daniel. I just want to apologize for how I was acting last week. You know, I was kind of going crazy. I was wearing all this face paint on my face. I was wearing this weird camouflage outfit. I was nuts. I just want to say I'm sorry. But even though I was crazy, I did a lot of good last week. The computer underneath our safe house was going to reveal the location, but we stopped it from happening because, man, talk about teamwork. I battled PZ Foon to distract him so Regina could get the black box. I threw the black box to V. V picked the lock, and then her and Chad put the floppy discs in the computer. Bada bing, bada boom. The safe house location is saved. Are you really going to take credit for all of that, Daniel? Douglas, I just said that it was all teamwork. It was thanks to everybody. It was not thanks to everybody. It was all me. I'm the one who battled PZ Foonf after all. Douglas, get away from me, man. I just got done telling the spy ninjas and I'm back to normal. Okay, let's see what's inside of this bag. I hope she's going to be okay. I think she's just tired, though. Yeah, she looks really, really distraught. It feels like she wants us to get inside here, right? Yeah, she kept saying inside the bag, inside the bag. So she wants us to go in here. Okay, be, be careful, though, just in case she's got a booby trap or something oh yeah what is this is this a toy it's a square orange fruit where'd that come from a fruit this is not a fruit chad whoa careful whoa what is this this is a spy gadget of some kind whoa i've never seen anything like it neither have i spy ninjas if you guys know what this is comment down below because i have no idea what this is all right my turn this is like christmas morning what'd you get what'd you get what did santa get you I used to have one of these. Look at this. What is it? It's a Sony Walkman. Used to be able to put cassette tapes in here, listen to some music, put on some headphones, walk around. Yeah. Nowadays, you just can listen to your phone. It's so easy. Your turn, B. What's in this bag? A cassette tape? Chad? Dude, let me see that. I know what this is. This is Weird Al. It's Weird Al Yankovic. He's pretty much your hero. My musical hero. This was actually the first cassette tape that I ever got when I was a little kid. Is this mine? It had uh, his song Fat on it. You know I'm fat. I'm, I'm fat. fat. Jamon. Jamon. <laughs> anyway, enough singing. Let me just a second. So wait. Yeah. Is this my cassette? See, like I was saying, it goes into this Walkman just like this. Close it and you hit play. Oh, no batteries. Darn, I wanted to hear some Weird Al. Weird Al is like kind of how we started on YouTube, V. We used to make musical parody videos just like him. He inspired me to do that, and you did it with me. Weird Al, if you're watching this, please be in one of our musical parodies. That would be so awesome. If we could still make them, Project Zorgo keeps messing with us and deleting our videos. We need to stop them first, and then we can get back to making music parodies again. Oh, yeah. Can't wait for that. Back oh, into this bag. Oh, another spy gadget. What? 
Chad, this looks so important. The cool switch. Maybe it has something to do with air conditioning, if it's cool. Or this is something that you need, Chad. Turn on the cool switch. Hey, you're... I'm already cool. And I'm hot. <laughs> well, aren't we confident of ourselves? <laughs> yeah. All right, take the camera. I'm pulling out the next item. Dude, leave me alone. Why are you following me? Come back, Daniel. Let me give you a kiss. Ah, hey, no. He's catching up to me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Guys, I don't know what's going on with me, but I'm definitely going crazy. I don't know, for some reason when I have this puppet on me, I just feel better. You know, about losing Melvin as a friend, and, and about losing the real Douglas. Stop being a baby! Life is tough, it's just the way it is. Now pick yourself up off the ground, dog. Hey, don't call me dog, you're the dog, boy. I'm not a boy, dog. Okay. Okay, fine. I'll get up. Everything in this bag, V, is looking oddly suspicious. I used to use this as a little kid. I used to call all my friends from school. Wait a minute. I remember having something very similar to this phone when I was younger, too. Wait a second. I don't know how to tell if this was actually mine when I was a kid. If I remove the battery here... CWC! This was mine when I was a little kid. I knew it. Maybe I could turn it on and I could like call some of my friends. See some of my old text messages. Oh man, it's out of batteries. What the heck is going on here? What else is in this oh bag? Oh my gosh. <laughs> what, Chad? I know what this is. Look at this! This is the Amazing Fantasy number 15. The first appearance of Spider-Man ever. It's worth so much money. Dude, we should bring this to a comic book shop. Get it valued? I probably shouldn't even touch it. If you bend the corner or tear it or anything, that lowers the value. So you gotta keep these in really mint condition. I can tell you how much it's worth, Chad. 12 cents. Hey, that's how much it cost when you first bought it way back in 1962. You know, Douglas, you're driving me real crazy. Oh, you're blaming the craziness on me, huh? Listen, shut up, shut up. I must say, Today is the best day of the year. Doesn't feel like the best day of the year. I think I'm losing my mind. No, it is. It's the best holiday of them all. What are you talking about? May the 4th? I don't think that's a holiday. Ho, ho, ho. Yes, it is. It's Star Wars Day. Oh, you're right. May the 4th. Like, may the force be with you in Star Wars. And you're going to celebrate it, Daniel, whether you like it or not. <laughs> hey! Hey, stay six feet away from me, okay? Dude, it's kind of hard given our situation, okay? Fine, I'll sneeze right back at you, Daniel. <coughs> ah, Douglas, stop! Anyway, we're gonna celebrate May the 4th the way it should be celebrated. I want you to make me a Star Wars mask. Okay, fine, Douglas. If that's what it takes for you to leave me alone. Ah, what am I doing? Okay, Douglas, since it's Star Wars Day, I gave you another accessory. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Call me Derg Vader. Wait, are you telling me your favorite character from Star Wars is Darth Vader? You're darn well right, son. Darth Vader, but he's a bad guy. Sometimes you gotta be bad to get things done, Daniel. But Dergless, I, I mean, uh, Derg Vader, the spy ninjas, we're not bad, we're good people, and look how we turned out. Pretty good, right? You think having hackers after you is good? Uh... Daniel, let's face it, you are nothing. Soon, Daniel won't even exist anymore. And instead, it'll only be me, Dirk Vader. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not going that crazy. Not, that's not true. I can overcome this, Douglas. I can overcome this. It's Dirk Vader to you, Daniel. Okay, V, we got a lot of technology here back from the early 90s and stuff. Yeah. We need to have Daniel, our technology expert of the Spy Ninjas. Maybe he can, like, hack into these cell phones and read all the messages and stuff. And I don't know, Perlita must have brought these here for some reason. Yeah, that's got to be, right? Let's, let's call Daniel up here. Come on, Daniel, Daniel, answer the phone. Come on, Daniel. I will do the talking, thank you very much. But Douglas, hey. Hello? Daniel? What? Hey, Chad and V. It's me, Dirk Vader. What is going on, Daniel? Come on, uh, I mean, Dirkless, can we talk to Daniel, please? Yeah, Dirkless, please. You're never going to see Daniel again. Ho, ho, ho! Daniel, come on, dude. We know it's you with your hand up a puppet's booty. <sighs> Just come on. Take the dog off your hand and talk to us, brother. Listen, Chad and V. I don't care what you have to say to me. I'm here at the park with your beloved boy, Daniel. Okay, Douglas, what do we have to do to talk to Daniel? You must return the stolen plans of the Durg Star. Oh, the Durg Star for Durgulus. Oh, like the Death Star. Guys, I don't know what Durgulus is doing. He's going crazy. You guys gotta come help me. Daniel! Is this serious? Uh, is, wait, what, is this April 1st to be? What date's the day? No, it's like May. Wait, today's May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. <gasps> it's like Star Wars Day. Daniel, come on, man. Quit pranking us. We know it's Star Wars Day. This is not a prank. If you ever want to see Daniel again, 
Bring me the plans of the Dirt Star. Okay, okay, uh, okay, okay, oh, yeah, okay uh, oh yeah, we'll we'll bring them, no problem. Yeah, we we got it, Dirk. Oh yeah, because we're Jedi's. We stole them from Dirk Vader. Make sure you bring your two best Jedi's. Goodbye, suckers. Douglas, what was that about? You just can't hang up on them like that. Oh man, I think I'm losing it. I'm losing it, right, guys? What? What are you gonna do with that? <laughs> Oh my gosh, V, what is wrong with Daniel right now? He's acting so strange. I mean, way weirder than normal. At first it was kind of cute, you know, with the little puppet show, and then he started putting on the mask, the watch, and just acting all crazy. I think we better just, like, let this play out. Let's just play along with it. Maybe he'll get better on his own if we go along with it. I don't know. I guess we better become Jedis, I guess? Strong is the Force with me. Oh, it's Yoda! Wise I am. Wow, V. Duralist is gonna love this. <laughs> I hope so. I'm with the Force and the Force is with me. I'm with the Force and the Force is with me. Oh, I'm a Jedi! I, I, I don't know what move that was, but it was, that was my Jedi move. <laughs> I'm ready to battle. I, I need a lightsaber. I'll, I, I know exactly what to get. Whoa, lightsaber. Dueling lightsaber. Actually, uh, Yoda, you need a lightsaber. I do? Oh, cool. There you go. Thanks. Chad, your lightsaber. Oh, your Yoda oh. ear went in my mouth. Oh, did it? <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll stand these, back here, okay? I'm not used to having big ears like you, you know? But, um, your lightsaber skills are looking kind of rusty, Chad. My lightsaber skills are rusty? Yeah, so let's do some forms or something, you know? Lightsaber training! You may be wondering, where are my lightsabers? Where are you hiding them, Chad? V, you gotta stay outside the circle, because this is gonna be dangerous. Lightsabers are known to be dangerous, so you better back up, V. Oh, jeez. Whoa. Whoa, V, where are your lightsabers? They're pink, right they're, here. They're too short. Those aren't lightsabers. Oh, you back up, Chad. Yeah? Whoa! See that? Let's see it, V! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah, me! Nice one, V! Woo. I'm not quite the real Yoda, you know? I'm not even near it. <laughs> yeah, Yoda just flips and stuff. You gotta work on the flips part. Yeah, I'm not even like baby Yoda. I'm probably like fetus Yoda at the moment. Uh, you're still warming up. It's all good. Next up for the training, V, is you must use the Force. Is the Force with you? It is, Chad. Look at these ears. They're definitely with me. Check this out. Oh, and now you are blindfolded. You must be able to use your lightsaber to defeat some uh, space balls. Space balls? <laughs> right. Chad, do I really need to be blindfolded? You must use the force, V. Oh, yeah. All right, get ready to knock out some space balls. Okay. Are, you, are you ready? And swing. Come on, Yoda. Oh! You got it. Yeah, V. You did it! Awesome! Yeah, you're officially Baby Yoda. All right, it's only fair that you do it too, Chad. Right! Go! Oh, you yeah. got it! Oh my gosh! You Double. got it on the first try! Double hit! <laughs> we gotta see an instant replay of that. Let's play it right now. Look at this. The ball goes back and forth. I hit it three times. One ball. How about one more challenge, Chad? I'm having so much fun. Me too. Okay, one more, and then we'll go rescue Daniel. All right. <laughs> Okay, Yoda, I got your move for you here. What's gonna happen is you're gonna run off of this platform right here. You're gonna run and jump, kick, jump, kick, land on the grass into a tumble onto this nice blue pad. What do you think, Yoda? I'm kind of afraid, you guys. I haven't tumbled in a long time. All right, wish me luck. Good luck, Yoda. Two, one, Yoda! Whoa, yeah, yeah! Hey, yeah! you lost your ears. Oh, Yoda. I'm earless. You're earless and you're fearless. That's right, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, V, get ready for a true Jedi Master move. Don't try this at home. Here we go. Three, two, one, go! We're totally ready now, Chad. Let's go save Daniel from, from Dur Daniel. Dur 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 Daniel from Daniel, okay. yes. To the park! Let's go, Yoda! All right, Daniel, we're coming, buddy! To the DeLorean! <laughs> Dirkless, it's going down. That's right. V, no longer is this just the DeLorean. 
It's the DeLorean Falcon. Get it? Oh, I get it. Millennium Falcon, get it? it. You got it? Oh, Uh oh. Hold on, Danny boy! We're coming for ya! Okay, Yoda, we oh. are here, and we are free and clear to find Daniel. Excuse me, Yoda. Have you seen a crazy man holding a puppet anywhere in this park? I have seen him. I've not. Is that how he talks? Yoda would say, Mmm, seen him. I have not. Oh, okay. Mmm, seen him. I have not. Pretty good. Mmm, mmm. There you go. Mmm. Oh, my gosh, V. Look, that's Daniel. <gasps> Daniel! Oh, my gosh, Daniel, you're tired hey. of... Hey, back up! Oh! Oh! Well, ho, 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 if it isn't Yoda and, uh, the other Star Wars character. Hey, I'm Chad Wild Skywalker. You don't recognize me, Darth Durg? You probably came to rescue your precious Daniel, huh? Daniel, you, you, guys, can, you guys can rescue me, right? He did this to you? Daniel, let me help. Uh, oh! oh! I'm so oh, sorry. Oh, 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 oh. Just like I planned. Oh, my mustache. Is uh, it still there? Uh, it's on the tape. Sorry, Daniel. Oh. Well, I hope you guys brought the plans for the Durg star. Um, uh, yes, we mm, bought the plans. Wait, what'd you say, wait, Yoda? Mm, I, I did plan. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> the plans brought she did. <laughs> well, that's good. Hand them over. We are going to hand them over that easily, Darth Durg. You must first defeat us in a lightsaber battle. Oh, I was born the lightsaber battle royale. Come here, Chad. Spy Ninja. Wait, are we really battling Dirkless, who's a puppet that's on Daniel's hand, and Daniel's uh, talking to this puppet? We gotta play along with him, otherwise he'll never snap out of it. I don't know. So we're essentially battling Daniel's right hand. That's what we're doing? Okay, Dirkless, we are ready to battle royale you. Okay, well, if you want a battle royale, first, feel the wrath of my lasers. What? <laughs> the force is with us. Yeah, let's do this. Wait, are you Arnold all of a sudden? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh oh, Yoda, get down. Get down. Dr. Douglas, what is this? Here I go. Me, use your training. Remember the space balls? Oh, yes, I remember them. Oh, my gosh, I'm ready. Oh, no. Come on, Yoda. Bring it. Whoa. Oh, oh, yes, oh, yes, Yoda. Oh, yeah. You are a pro. Yeah. The force, the force is with me. What's yeah. that? Here's another laser ball. Here's another one, guys. Oh. Very good, Yoda and Luke. Those were my easy lasers, though. Prepare for my star killer. Oh, no. Yoda. Oh, no. All right, watch out, Yoda. Oh, oh. oh yeah. Ah. Whoa, good one, Chad. Ah. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Oh. That was awesome. Oh, thank you very much, Yoda. Very good, guys. I see you completed your training, huh? Well, now prepare for a lightsaber battle. Oh my gosh! Where'd yes. that come from? He has a lightsaber! Oh my gosh! You got one too, Chad! Prepare to battle, Darth Durg! Ha! 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 Whoa! Ha! 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 Well, that's the end of Luke Skywalker as we know it. Join me to the dark side. Never! Douglas, what do you got to say for yourself? I'm going to unmask you now. Chad, let me do it. It's Douglas! Yo oh, ho 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 ho! Daniel, I am your father. <gasps> no! <laughs> no! Yo ho 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 ho! Wait a minute, Chad, that's, that's your hand. Yes, Daniel, it is just a puppet. It's not Douglas or Douglas or PZ9 or Darth Vader. It's none of them. It's just a puppet. And there's my hand. That's right. You are Daniel, the greatest spy ninja. One of the greatest. One of the four greatest spy ninjas. Oh my gosh. Dude, I, I'm sorry. I, I must have been going crazy. It happened again. Yeah, you don't need this, Daniel. Get, get, get him out get of here. Get him out of here. Daniel, we need your help. We found a bunch of old cell phones that V and I had as children. We need you to hack into them. There's information about us as children on them. We need oh. your help, Daniel. Yeah, as the tech expert of the group, we need you to do this for us. Of course, yes, I can help you guys out. Where is these technologies? At the safe house, let's go! Let's go! Okay, let's go! Okay. Now, Daniel, Perlita came in here. She's in here sleeping right now. Oh, so shh. It's 
why she brought this bag. Come check this out. It was filled with all this old technology from V and I's childhood. Whoa. Do you recognize any of it? Uh, I mean, this is obviously a phone. This is what I had as a little kid. There's probably info on here about my childhood. And that's V's phone. What the heck is this thing? We don't know. I thought it was a spy gadget of some kind. Looks like it's some type of cool switch looking thing. Oh. Cool, cool switch. switch. Oh, see? Just give me a couple minutes to take a look over these things. There's got to be clues or something. Maybe I'll know how to unlock these clues. It's totally out of power, though. They won't even turn on. That's okay. I, uh, I know a couple tricks on how to make electronics turn back on. Oh. Wake from the dead, if you will. Oh. Yes. I think I can do this one. Yeah, really? I, I can hack into this right now. I can make it start working again, I think. All right, so I'm going to hook my phone into this phone like this. Okay. And then, let's see. Yeah. This one, that. You can do this, Daniel. You got this. Okay. <gasps> oh. Uh -oh. Uh oh, are you going crazy again, Daniel? No, man, it's May the Fourth. That's Chewbacca. We did it. Oh. oh, that was your victory call. That's my victory Chewbacca oh, call. Yeah. Uh -oh. Look. Wait, what do you see, Daniel? Oh, there we go. There we go. It's on. Oh. Ooh, but uh, the screen's in bad shape. I dropped it a couple times back in the day. Okay, well, that's no problem because it's hooked up to my iPhone right here so I can see what's on this phone on this screen. Ooh. Oh, yeah. well, look, okay. Oh, you got a voicemail. Oh. Do you know who that is? No. We can listen to the voicemail, I guess. I don't know if I feel comfortable about that. Yeah, what's okay. the worst this could be? All right, let's play it. Let's play it. Please, if you're hearing this, that means I wasn't able to escape. I hit the what? items at the coordinates in the text message. You must find them and get the word out before it's too late. Don't try to save me. Oh no, they're coming. Gotta go. What? What, what, was, what the heck was that, V? What kind what? of weird message is that? You don't remember getting that when you were a little kid, V? I have a ton of friends, you know, when I was younger, and it's probably one of them, right? I don't know. You're talking to some weird kids when you were little. Were you playing some sort of weird game or something, or what? I don't know. That girl sounds really distressed. Okay, well, she mentioned a text message, so maybe I'll read your text messages on here. Oh, okay. great. This is cool. We're unlocking stuff about your past, right? I mean, it'll probably be talking about, like, Barbies and My Little Ponies and stuff like that. I only have generic versions of all of those. Let's uh, go through the text messages. There's two text messages from this voicemail. <gasps> There's a contact name for this person. Best friend. Gosh, I should know my best friend. You know, I can't really remember for some reason. Well, I mean, let's read the text message. Maybe that'll tell us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It says, we need to break into the headmaster's office tonight. What? Headmaster? That's like a principal at a school. I think I've ever gone to a school that has a headmaster. What is going on here? Breaking in? Your friend was up to no good? Were you one of those bad kids, V? No, I was not a hooligan, Chad. There's another text message here from this person. Okay. This one's just a bunch of GPS cords. What? What? Who was I hanging out with? I don't remember this girl. I don't remember headmaster and coordinates. Let me look up these coordinates right here. Maybe it's another clue or something. Mm. Yeah, maybe it's just a joke. Maybe it's like my house or something. It's actually not too far away, guys. It looks like we can get there today. What are you talking about? I lived in Minnesota. How is this coordinates here? It's kind of on the outskirts of Las Vegas. Actually, it looks like we're going to have to go over some really crazy terrain to get there. We can't take the DeLorean there, then. My DeLorean is like this low from the ground. If we go over mountains, it's going to bottom out. We need like a vehicle with like four-wheel drive. Yeah, if we had something like that, that'd be amazing. Yeah, I only know one person who has something like that. Who? You know who. Let's call Regina and see what's going on with her. Maybe she's finding out some new info or something because she's hanging out with a lot of hackers lately. That's right. She's pretending to be captured by PZ2 and PZ5 so she can gather information from them. Regina! Hey, Chad and V. So Daniel hacked into my childhood phone. It had coordinates that leads to somewhere outside of Las Vegas. Can you ask the hackers what's going on? I haven't heard anything about that, but Foomf was saying that someone broke into the Project Circle basement and stole a ton of stuff. That's all I got. I think I might know what that bunch of stuff is. But it's all ours anyway. It was from us when we were children. So Perlita stole it back and gave it back to us. Perlita's the one that stole the stuff? Yeah, I mean, Project Zorgo apparently has a bunch of stuff about Chad and I as kids. So she took it back, and now it's in our possession. All right, let me see what I can come up with. I gotta go. Well, we need to get to these GPS coordinates, V, and find out what you and your best friend did when you were little kids and what you put there. I feel like we should contact Melvin, PC9, because he has the truck. What? No, 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 we can't do that. He betrayed us. I never want to see his face again. But Daniel, that's the only vehicle that can make over all those mountains. How are we going to convince... PZ9 to give us his truck. There's no way he's gonna do that. We could trick him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, new app I've been developing. I call it Nav Hack. Pretty much, if we can plug one of our phones into Melvin's truck, I can hack his navigation system. Oh yeah, he has that screen. It tells him where to turn, right? I can make it say, make a left, make a right, go up this road. Oh. So 
wait a second, you're saying we need to sneak into his truck, plug in our phone, you'll hack into his GPS, and he'll drive us right where we want to go. Yeah, we'll have to sneak into the car too at some point. All three of us? Someone needs to be using the nav hack system, so maybe I'll stay back and I'll be doing that and guiding you guys through. You ready for a secret stealth sneak mission V? Oh yeah, spicy spy V ready. And, and super awesome Chad Wall Clay. Well, while you're gone, I'm also gonna be looking at these things, okay? Finding clues about your old stuff. Yeah, yeah, try to hack into my old phone. Maybe there's some old voicemails and text messages on there too. Be careful with my comic book, though it's worth a lot of money. I'll do my best. I'll get back to you if I find anything. Okay. All right, let's go, Chad. Oh, Melvin. Look over there. I don't see anything. Come closer. You don't see that movement? No. Oh, you gotta check your eyes, Chad. You're the one who's blind, V. Do you see it? By that tree? Is that a hacker laying on the ground right there? I think we gotta get a little closer. All right, just be careful, V, okay? Might be a trap. Ew, what is this? Someone was brushing their dog. Let's approach that hacker. Whoa! Hey. hey! Hey, dude! Hey, what are you doing here? Wait, wait, are you taking a nap in the park or what? What is it with you people? I told you I didn't know anything. We've never spoke to you before. What are you talking about? Hey, why don't you just battle right out me? What? No! What? Wait, you, you're saying that you just got beat up right now? Well, I didn't beat myself up. God! Not by a spy ninja! Oh, you look like a spy ninja to me. Did you say he? Yeah, he's a hairy fella. <gasps> That's Melvin! What do you want with me? Leave me alone. Where did that spy ninja go? I think he went that way. Was he wearing all black? Did he happen to drive a black truck by any chance? I think so. He's talking about some kind of mobile command center. That's definitely Melvin. Ugh. Okay, let's go. Okay. okay, thanks, dude. Thanks, man. Wow, so Melvin beat up a hacker? All right, so he went this way somewhere. Melvin, he's always doing bad things. You know, the, one of the rules of the Spy Ninjas is you never throw the first punch. It's for self-defense only. That's one of the reasons he quit the Spy Ninjas. He wants to just fight people whenever he feels like. He wants to beat people up. He's a bully. He fights Project Zargo members, and he also fights Daniel and all the Spy Ninjas, too. We gotta find that punk. He's gotta be somewhere over here. The hacker said he went this way. See any RV? Did you see over there? That's Melvin's truck, and Melvin! He's like setting up for something. Must be holding another course. Yeah, his online spy ninja training course. What does he call it? Ninja moves for clout that all the hackers keep signing up for. Oh wait, it looks like he's packing up actually. Uh oh. Gotta hurry up because he's almost done. We don't want the car to drive away. Yeah, yeah. So how do we do this, V? Okay, let's go around his truck. Yeah. On the other side and sneak into the bed of it. Okay. Okay, guys. Look at this thing. This thing is ancient. Look at the torn edges there. I gotta be super careful. Or else Chad's gonna get real mad at me. Whoa, man, look. This thing is almost falling apart. Okay, well, I don't know. This is cool and all. It's an old comic from Chad's past that he used to read, but I don't see any clues or anything. I mean, it's pretty cool and all, but it's just kind of like a normal cup. <gasps> Do you guys recognize that sphinx? That's the sphinx that's in front of the, <gasps> the black pyramid. What are the chances I just opened to a random page and the Black Pyramid is there? It doesn't even make any sense. When Chad was a little kid, I don't even think the Black Pyramid was built yet. Yet it's showing in this super old comic book. This is super weird. Let's keep investigating. Another successful class. And another 50 bucks for all my subscribers. Maybe I can get some nice lunch with that. But I gotta pick up my lackey first. I think he's saying he's picking up his lackey. Oh, yeah. Get in, Chad. He's coming around. My clothes doesn't at the same time. He closed his door. Oh my gosh, V. He's moving. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. This is actually really perfect. Whenever he stops, that's my chance to sneak inside of the truck because I got to connect my phone and upload the nav system or whatever Daniel's program is into the navigation. Okay, luckily he said that he had to make a quick stop before he picks up his buddy. So once he makes that quick stop, V, you sneak into the cab using your secret stealth spy ninja moves. Being a tiny spy ninja really comes in handy in a lot of missions, you guys. You fit in the back of this truck way easier than I do. This is kind of cramped for me. <laughs> it's so tough being tall. He's pulling over. Okay, okay. Wait this for me to get out. Yeah, wait for him to get out first. Oh my gosh, look, his hacker mask is right there. Do you think he can fit into that window? I don't know. It's a tiny little window. I don't know if he'll fit out. Let's see if he gets out of the truck. His mask is gone. Oh, there he is. Okay, now's your chance for me to get into the cab and plug your phone in so Daniel can hack. Okay, I'm going to try and fit into this tiny window. I'm not sure if I can actually fit, though. Are you tiny enough to fit? Oh my gosh, B, that's a tiny window. Whoa. I'm in! I'm actually in! How did you fit in there like that? Oh my gosh, I'm way tinier than I thought. Yeah, plug your phone in to his GPS unit. It's in, it's in! Yes. Tell okay. Daniel! Okay, you crawl out of there, I'll call Daniel. Okay. 
calling Daniel right now. Hey, Chad. Daniel, Daniel, V's in there. She's got her phone inside the truck. Are you ready? You ready to hack? Not yet. It says a minute to upload. Okay, Daniel, it's gonna be a few minutes, it says. What do we do? Hang in there, guys. As soon as I get it uploaded, I'll be able to hack the directions. Okay. All right, we'll let you know when it's done. We'll keep an eye on Melvin here. He's coming. He get out, get out, get out, get out. So hard to find good help these days. I mean, he asked me to pick him up. You better be making some good sales. Sheesh, I gotta find a new lackey. Maybe Daniel's interested. He's got any more clues in here? This is pretty cool, comic books are awesome. Guys, comment down below if you guys have any comic books. It's kinda like a thing from the old days that doesn't happen that much anymore. Okay, what the heck? Hey guys, do you see this? I think we might have found something. Here's a piece of paper inside this comic book. Let's be very gentle with this. This is super ancient stuff. Looks like another comic book of some sort, except a very poorly drawn one. What the heck? This is super weird. Why is there a crappy comic book inside an awesome comic book? I gotta keep this until Chad. He's stopping, Chad. What should I do? Wavy. You did it! That was so close, Chad! Should we get out of here now, Chad? Let's get out of here. Yeah. And once they get back in the car, we need to make sure to be in there so he'll drive us to where we need to go. Does that mean we're going to be in the bed of the car or we have to go back inside again? I think it'll be a lot safer if we get inside. They'll probably take the two front seats, we'll take the two back seats, we'll hide behind it. That's so dangerous. But yeah, we'll be way safer. Should we sneak up on them and see what they're talking about? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go to that tree. Did you make any sales, though? Uh, no. I'm out here, I'm doing everything that you show me. What I am got... I paying you for? You don't pay me squat. I paid $50 for your subscription to this stupid service. Look, we can get lunch whenever, you know? I'll pay for your lunch as long as you get from the value menu. I'm tired of eating the dollar menu. It's my favorite. Learn to enjoy it. We'll pack up then. You No know sales and I guess we're done here. Yeah, I guess so. Well, let's go get lunch and maybe if you have a full stomach, you can actually make some sales. We're going to the bed of the truck while they're putting the stuff in the back. We gotta sneak around and get in the back seat, okay? Okay, go on the other side, Chad. Okay, here we go. Sales. Right, I'm on the ground floor, so like I'm like a like a like a, a business sidekick owner type, right? Uh, it's just get in the car. Let's get lunch. How about that? Okay, all right. Maybe you're not worthy of all this clout. Oh, come on, come on, come on. I'm worthy. You know I'm worthy. Hopefully Daniel is successfully hacking his nav right now. Hey, what? This is your phone? I've never seen that phone in my life. It's plugged into the car. What are you doing draining my battery for? That's not my phone, I swear. It's not my phone. Well, if it's not your phone, then you wouldn't care if I did this. Ah! Oh my gosh, that don't hit me in the forehead. This is my phone. It's supposed to be plugged into the navigation. Now it's unplugged. How's Daniel going to get to the navigation now? Daniel's calling. Daniel, V and I are in the back of the truck right now. Melvin just unplugged V's phone and he threw it back here. Okay, we're gonna try to plug it back in so you can hack his nav system, okay? Oh yeah, nothing's hugging. I just downloaded a bunch of new tracks. Oh sweet, I could use some new hop tracks. Yeah, they're all royalty free. Oh nice, <laughs> I like I like anything that's free. Cranking it up to maximum! Yeah! Uh, I can't hear you, Daniel. What are we? What? B, I can't hear Daniel right now. He's telling me what to do. It's too loud. B, can you sneak up there and turn it down? What? Yeah. I can't hear Daniel. I'm I'm trying to turn the knob down. Okay, I'm all distracted. I got an idea. What? Can you hear that? Okay, wait. Okay, okay, okay. Music. Right after the music. Oh, it's probably over. Okay, Daniel. We'll get the music down. What were you saying? Okay, you're updating the software right now, so it's gonna be faster this time. Okay, Daniel, we'll let you know when we get this plugged back in. But in the meantime, let me look at all these other things that apparently are from Chad and V's past. These are all things that they had when they were kids. Chad's cell phone looks much more ancient than V's cell phone. It's gonna take me a long time to get into this one. We got Weird Al Yankovic cassettes. He is one weird looking guy. I still don't know what this thing is. I mean, if this came from the Project Zorgo headquarters, maybe this isn't something that Chad had when he was a kid and this is just a piece of hacking equipment Perlita accidentally threw in the bag. Here's an old, uh, oh, cassette player. So this thing plays these things. You should probably listen to this. It probably just is a normal Weird Al cassette, but it's worth a shot. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, when I open this up, I see little writing. It says V. V must have wrote her name in this when she was a little wee lass. So this is definitely V's. 
I know where we're gonna go. Sonic, America's oh. driving. He's going to Sonic? Yeah, they're ordering lunch. How long is that gonna take? Well, oh, maybe this is a good time. They'll get out of the car and I can plug this back in there. But Fee, Sonic is like driving. They deliver food to your car and you eat inside the car, so I don't think they're gonna be getting out. Wait, I think I just heard the lackey said something about corn dogs. Yeah, corn dogs. How are we gonna order food? We're in the back of the car hiding. We can't order food. Online ordering, Chad. Yeah, place an order on your phone and they'll bring it to the window. There's instructions on this order? Yeah. Like deliver it to the back door. The back window? Order me a hot dog and a corn dog. Anyway, pay your and then you have a number 12 for Here's our order, Jen. Thanks. You're welcome. Oh, thank you. You enjoy your meal. Okay, thanks. Thank you. I don't want to dirty up my car. Yeah, let's just head back to that same park again. Okay, yeah, I mean, it's a nice day out. A good, uh, you know. You're eating already? Yeah. Clint, what? Food is so good when it's hot, Chad. Come on, Tosh You're crazy. Yeah, come on. That's a big onion ring. Maybe drive up your sales. That's I'm gonna eat my corn dog the way Daniel eats stuff. Raw. Oh, it's kind of good this way. Mm, I like it. He's really onto something. Okay, I think we're at the barn now. Let's eat. Okay, now let's grow. Okay, now's our chance. We gotta plug your phone in to the GPS. Let's go. Okay. Oh, what the heck is this thing? There's a weird little pointy thing right here, a weird little speaker right there, whatever the heck that thing is, and a little red lever? What? Okay, this seems like something from Project Zorgo. I don't know why Chad or V would have this as a little kid. This seems awfully dangerous. Let's just put this back. I gotta tell Chad and V what I found. Especially the biggest clue today, this weird comic. Guys, if you can comment down below and read this and see if there's any clues here or if it makes any sense, that'd be fantastic. But I gotta go tell Chad and V. Plug your phone back into his GPS. Okay. Okay, Daniel, V's plugged the phone back in. Go ahead and begin hacking the GPS system. Those guys are out eating their food right now. So we got a couple minutes, I think. Okay, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And... I got it! I got it! You got it, Daniel? Yeah, we're in! All right, so you're gonna navigate Melvin to drive to where the coordinates of V's old childhood phone is leading us to, right? Her her best friend? I dialed in the exact coordinates. Okay, V, I think we shouldn't be back here anymore now that it's plugged in. I think we should go hide in the back. Otherwise, they might spot us. Okay, sounds good. Let's go. Stay down low, stay down low. Okay, okay all right. All right, I think they're coming back. I think I feel like I'm ready to make some sales, yeah. All right, well, let's set up right here then. Okay, that sounds good. I'll get the stuff out of the back of the truck. Wait, they say back of the truck. Oh, no. What? What? Oh, oh, shoot. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. Back here. Uh, uh, no, we're just uh, we're just going for a free ride. That's all. A free ride. There's no free rides in anywhere. If there's one thing that I've learned, there's nobody gets a free ride. Hey, Valet. Oh. Valet. What? Uh oh. Valet. Oh, crap. You got stowaways. Chad and V are in the back of your truck. Are you looking for another excuse to get out of sales today? No, I'm telling you, they're in the back of the truck. Wait, V, they're, they're arguing. Let's try to sneak out of here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, jeez. You you... <laughs> let me out of Let me out of See, I told you that we had stowaways in the truck. Okay, well, I guess I believe you now. <laughs> well, what are you guys doing? Looking to sign up for my online course? No. Um, we don't need it, Melvin. And you're not getting my allowance, okay? So what? You're trying to battle royale. Yeah, you don't want to battle royale V. Then maybe I don't have to, but my lackey could. Yeah, yeah, I could. Ha. <laughs> Cause she's just a girl. What'd you say? I say you're just a girl. I could easily beat you. <laughs> <laughs> this guy doesn't know me quite. I'm gonna give you a taste of these jalapeno poppers. Oh boy, ah! watch ah! it! Ah! Yeah, yeah, me. Yeah, Woohoo! What's popping now, huh? What's yeah. popping? You're popping, me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, she hit me and my stomach's full. Ah, I think I gotta go to the bathroom. You're lacking. You ain't much of a fighter. You haven't taught him a whole lot, Melvin. Yeah, he's actually quite lacking. <laughs> so what the heck are you guys doing in the back of my truck? Oh, you know, just chillaxing. Well, Melvin, we needed your truck to drive us to this place that only your truck can go because it's over mountains and stuff. We can't take the DeLorean, so we needed your truck. So we were going to have you drive us there. That's it? We were going to trick you into driving there. We were going to hack your GPS and have you drive there. You And you wouldn't even know any better. <laughs>
You like that? That's pretty, pretty funny. Pretty, pretty funny. Well, why don't you just ask? Wow. Uh, okay. huh? What? what? Because you'd probably be like, ah, no, I'm not driving you anywhere. No, 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 no. But everything has a price. Oh, clout. Yes. I'll drive you to wherever you need to go, but you got to upload the content to my channel. Oh, <laughs> yes. You can't just film your own stuff and make your own videos, Melvin? You have a lackey now. Can't he just, like, film you? He's really not that good. You haven't taught him how to edit videos yet or anything? No, I don't trust him with my footage, okay? I'm learning to do that on my own. Okay, fine. You need content for your YouTube channel. We need your truck to drive us somewhere. V, should we do it? Should we take him up on his offer? I guess so. We do need him. Okay, Melvin, you've got a deal. And, and Daniel's coming with. Right, come on, Daniel. Hey. Hey, hey Daniel. See, you're wearing a different watch now. We're having a good time. What is it like not being a spy ninja, huh? What's it like being lame as usual? Hey, back up! This is my safe house. You don't belong here, well, man. this is my video. Why are we keep making videos? I'm editing him out. What? Be nice to Daniel. I'm not gonna make a video if Daniel's gonna be parading his face all over it. Okay, okay, how about this? Daniel and I are gonna go analyze those other clues. Melvin and Fee, you guys go make this video, okay? You take Fee to that location that you need to go to. I like yeah. it, I like it. This is a job for a spicy senorita. Yeah. Because he has a lot of attitude. You make way better content. V. I get the most views out of all the spy ninjas. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> all right, V. Here, do you need help? <laughs> you need a booster seat to get in. <laughs> you watch your mouth, Melvin. <laughs> Close the door. Ah, uh, come on. You need my help on this mission. Yes, that's true. I'll be nice. What? <laughs> so naturally, since I'm driving, someone's gonna have to be the camera girl. I probably can operate it better than you. All this light setting and ISO stuff is too complicated. <laughs> you should probably teach your lackey that. Oh, heck no. He's cramping my style. <laughs> and what style is that? Hey. He's fine and just, just to catch you up in case you're kind of lost because we're on PZ9's channel right now, Pavlita came back to the safe house and she bought home this bag full of a bunch of stuff that belongs to me and Chad when we were kids. And in there, we found a Walkman and also this flip phone that belongs to me. On this phone, there's a contact called Best Friend, and they left me this voicemail right here. Hmm, I didn't know you had friends. You're the one that don't have any friends right now. I have that lackey guy. Guys, listen to the voicemail right now. V, if you're hearing this, it means I wasn't able to escape. I hid the items at the coordinates in the text message. You must find them and get the word out before it's too late. Don't try to save me. Oh no, they're coming. Gotta go. Doesn't that sound crazy? It sounds like my best friend is in trouble of some sort. We gotta get to this coordinates right now, Melvin. Did you say that Perlita's at the safe house? Yeah? Why? We gotta get her! What? What do you mean we gotta get her? No, we gotta get to the coordinates, Melvin. She's Keep... gotta help us out with the mission. No, that's the reason why we're doing this collab. We need to get to the coordinates. We gotta figure out what's on this voicemail. We don't have enough women's intuition to do the mission. What are you talking about? I'm woman enough. Everybody. Wasn't she the one that found your cell phone in the first place? That's right. And she's a great fighter, too. So who knows what's going to happen when we get to this coordinates? There could be a ton of hackers there. She definitely can kick some butt. Yeah, let's bring her along. That's a great idea since I don't have Chad here with me. Might as well bring the next best thing. What? You're not the best fighter. Well, hold on. Ah! Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay, so we're back in the safe house. Let's go, Melvin. Are you okay? V, I can't. What do you mean you can't? You know that feeling right before you get into a serious battle royale with multiple opponents? That's what I'm feeling now. Melvin has a crush on Perlita. No, I don't. <laughs> Aww, look at Mr. Softy. Aww. Aww. Can you just get her? You can do it, Melvin. Be brave and face your fears. Do you think I could just use all this clout? Should I show her my butterfly kick? Girls, they like sincere, nice guys. Like Chad and Daniel. You know, and we all like to laugh. Sorry, go on. We all love to laugh, you know, so maybe you can tell Perlita a joke or something. What if I just go full send and just make a move on her? I saw in this one movie, this guy was like... Huh. That's not gonna work, Melvin. Just be nice to her! You know what Chad's first pickup line for me was? Hey, how's the weather down there? <laughs> no, he's a nice guy. He asked me to see his comic book collection. I remember. I'll take your word for it. Let's go. Perlita? No, Malo! What? She's about to fight you, Melvin! Yes. What am I doing Why? here? Why here? He's not a 
bad guy, okay? He used to be our friend. He's not he's not bad though. You don't have to fight him. You can put your hands down. Okay. Yeah. Yo soy muy interesante. Interesting. What now, V? What do I say? Give her a nice compliment or a joke that you got prepared. What do you call a nosy pepper? Hmm? A jalapeno business. Jalapeno business. It didn't work. That wasn't very funny. What do you get when you mix someone from Holland with a Filipino? A jalapeno. Oh. I don't know. Yeah, I actually don't know either. What's with all these jalapeno jokes? Why did the tiny jalapeno wear a sweater? Because <laughs> he was a little chilly. <laughs> oh, oh, that's kind of funny. Yeah, I'm bombing. Hola. Hola. I'm just gonna hold the camera now. Okay, do you wanna go on a ride with us? Roller coaster? No, no, not roller coaster. Truck. Oh, Adventure. Yeah. Truck. Yeah, truck. See. Si. Alright, let's go. Uh yeah, let's go. Okay, right this way. Oh thanks, what a gentleman. Hey, no. What the heck? It's for Perlita. Fine. Go ahead, Perlita. You're gonna let her sit in the front? Who's gonna operate the camera? She can. See, you can't even operate. Look, the ISO is way too high. Look at her. She doesn't even know how to like get into a car properly. You gonna let oh, her really? operate a camera? I mean, isn't this all about clout? Don't you want to be in frame? But I also need to have the most beautiful one in the front seat. I can tell she's beautiful even with a mask on. Just from the way she kicked me in the face that one time. It does make sense you should be in the passenger seat, B. <sighs> Melvin, you're so smiley. Yeah? Oh, because Perlita's here. I shouldn't be so angry all the time. Maybe Perlita should join the Spy Ninja so you can be nice all the time. But anyways, Perlita, because you've been sleeping for so long, I have all these questions that I wanted to ask you. Where did you get the phone, the Walkman, the comic book, Chad's other phone? Like, where'd you get all this stuff from? Shh, I can't say. Why not? Did someone tell you not to tell us? They're watching. Who's watching? Probably all the PZ9ers are watching, of course. She's probably talking about Project Zorgo. Project Zorgo is always watching, right? Maybe you're asking her a high-level question. What about something like, Perlita, what's your favorite kind of food to eat? Who? Spam. Oh, I like Spam. I love Spam. See, si. That's an easier question to ask. So maybe you should try an easier one too, V. No, but all these questions are important because it leads to my childhood and Chad's childhood. The weird thing is, the message on that phone is from my best friend, but I have no memory of this person. I don't even recognize the voice. I mean, how did you get that phone? Come on, Perlita. We're no. nice. You can tell us. Mm-mm. No. V, you need to ask her more simpler questions like, you got a boyfriend, Perlita? Perlita. Boyfriend? Come on, Melvin. We're on a serious mission right now. Project Zorgo could be behind this whole entire thing. Maybe they've been tracking me and Chad since we were a child. Maybe they put us together for a reason. And what is that reason? Are me and Chad even meant to be together? And if we're meant to be together, is it by choice? Or is it Project uh, Zorgo's okay, choice? Me, I get it. You have so many Spy Ninja problems. Project Zorgo's ruining my life. Uh, look what happened when I left the Spy Ninjas. Project Zorgo just magically forgot about me. I haven't had to deal with them since. Yeah, because you're not important enough for them to deal with. Duh. Enough quarreling. We have a guest, okay? Do you like raisins? Raisins? How about a date? <laughs> I don't like dates. I mean like an actual date, you know, like hanging out like one-on-one -on -one, where I could take you to a fancy three-course meal at a five-star restaurant at the tallest casino and have some bubbly. Polita, I just noticed you don't even have your seatbelt on. Okay, nice truck! It's my pride and joy! My mobile command center! Rated for all kinds of terrain. That's specifically why V has recruited my help. It can also go pretty fast. How fast? Good thing you have your seatbelt, because I'm about to show you. Ah! Now then slow down! <laughs> Me gusta mucho! My gusta! Wait, Perlita, you like this? Coaster ride, please calm down. Oh, <gasps> do you hear that siren? Melvin, what? pull over, pull over, there's a siren. I don't see anybody. Oh, oh goodness. Just pull over up here. I told you not to speed, and look what happened when you speed. Gotta obey the law. Gosh. He's, he's coming, roll down the window. Don't roll down the window. I said roll down Should the I just window. speed it? I'll no. just gas it? No. Oh my gosh, you're speeding uh, in a stolen vehicle? It's not stolen, it's, st okay, uh, I don't wanna keep him waiting. Be nice, be nice. Be oh, he's tall. License and registration, please. <laughs> 
I'm sorry, officer. One second, please. Something funny there, sir? No, not at all. I'm sorry. Well, uh, Mr. Melvin, do you know how fast you were going here today? Just trying to show my friends a good time. <laughs> this is no time to do that kind of action. That's illegal, sir. Wait a minute. Melvin, right? Yes, sir. Do I know you from somewhere, Melvin? Well, I'm on YouTube. You do look familiar, Melvin. Do you just want an autograph? I might need you to sign some papers for me, but I don't need no autograph. Even though you don't remember me, I swear I remember you, and you were a good guy, so if you promise to drive safely, I will let you go this time. I promise. Okay, Scouts well. Scout's honor. All right, well, you drive safe, and we'll see you later, Gomi. Gomi? Sounds like what I say when I wake up in the morning. Gomi. <laughs> Boyfriend? No, I'm single. I don't know him. That's so weird. I've never seen that cop before, but he seems to know you, though. Well, he said we used to work together somewhere. I don't know. At least we didn't get a ticket. We didn't get a ticket. We ain't got a ticket. Great, we didn't get a ticket because you probably don't have enough money to pay for it. So come on, Melvin. Let's get to the destination. Follow the coordinates, please. Let's go. Thanks to my speeding, we're almost at the destination, V. Finally, I'm going to find out some more information about my past, my childhood, Chad's childhood, and the reason we're together. So hurry up. Safely. Wait a minute. We're we getting close? Yeah. Are we really heading there? That's it? <gasps> A McDonald's? Wait, Melvin, are you sure this is right? Did you follow the GPS correctly? You're the one that entered the address. Well, that's what's on the voicemail. You could have just called Grubhub or Uber Eats or something. You'd have to go through all that effort to get me to drive. That would have been nice. I have my life in danger with you speeding. She could have told me some more stuff because I'm sure she's not comfortable around you. You would have had so much to talk about on your long walk all the way here. That terrain, though, is pretty tough. Your four-wheel drive came in handy. Well, what? Do you think Perlita's ever had McDonald's? Are you gonna pay? I'm just gonna use my Spy Ninja credit card. <laughs> I'm gonna need that back soon. Yeah. Okay, Spy Ninjas, we're here at the location, so we should definitely look for any clues about me, Chad, our childhood. Why would this old friend of yours leave clues here at McDonald's? Let's just look, okay? I'll walk with Perlita. Look for some clues, all right? Okay. okay. Let's do some exploring. Right. Right. These things yeah. are huge. Well, do you think that's where the clue is? You should climb up there then. Maybe the clue's there. Okay, no, there's obviously no safe way to climb it. The big fries and the big drinks gotta be a clue, right? What's your favorite soda? Soda pop, cola. See. Yeah. Cool. Do you think it's like underneath the hatch? Is it like buried somewhere? I don't know. Well, Just... you ask Hatch Girl. Maybe she can sense underground hatches. Hey, Perlita, can you tell if there are other underground hatches anywhere in the area using your brain power? No. Okay. Oh, let's check it out. Look at this. Whoa. Doesn't this look like the entrance to the Project Zorgo basement? That little tiny one only me and PC2 can fit into? Yeah, it does. I think we should look this up. <gasps> <gasps> Oh. oh my gosh! You got There's it! There's like cockroaches in there! Oh. Do you want a closer look, Melvin? No, thanks. I think I saw something in there, Melvin. What? I think the clue is down there. I'm gonna have to be brave and stick my hand down there. I'm gonna go for it. Oh, no. oh my gosh! Okay, okay, okay. I found this. Oh, let's get far away from that yeah. thing. There's definitely a cockroach there. It's a cassette. And not just any old cassette. It's a Weird Al Yankovic. What is that? What do you mean, what is that? It's only Chad's music hero. You know, the reason why we started making music parodies in the past is because of Weird Al. Chad's a huge fan. I mean, can't we just stream it on, like, Spotify or something or find it on a YouTube channel? This is analog, okay? Analog music got to be played in a cassette player or a Walkman like this. Wow, I didn't know you were that old, V. I'm not. <laughs> Perlita found this. She's old? What's wrong with that? You gotta open it like this, and you Whoa. stick the cassette in. Close it, wow. and here's the play button right here. Big old button. There's no like, screen on this. How yeah. do you even know what's playing? You just gotta listen, I guess. Oh my gosh. Just shh. You have a big mouth, so we need to shut it and listen. Okay. V, I hope you find this. I came to the location, but it looks like they're building a McDonald's here. I have to move the items to a different spot. Here are the new coordinates. 39 degrees north. 119 degrees west. Goodbye, me. What the heck is going on? What did they have to move? What is she talking about, Melvin? You gotta drive more? What is she bury here? And why did she have to move it? Something must be super important. I don't know. Why was she in danger? Why you got friends that are so sketchy like that? Whatever she's protecting or hiding must be super important, right? Wait, what? speaking of weird friend, where's Perlita? 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 Whoa, where is she? I mean, she was in like a bright pink outfit. What the heck? Perlita! 
Oh no! You were too distracted to notice she was gone! Well, you were supposed to be the lookout, Melvin! I'm holding the camera and listening to all these clues! I'm I trying to help! I thought you liked her! I thought you were trying to get with her! Wouldn't you be keeping an eye on her? Maybe we're not meant to be or something! Okay, She's... let's just get back in the truck! You don't know what you want! We need to get to that next coordinate! Let's just go! Wait, and let's just forget just about Perlita? I swear it was your fault that Perlita left! She likes me, Melvin! I don't think she would leave! I think you were scaring her off with your pickup lines! I was trying to be nice to her and show her a real friendship. You wanted her to help out with this mission. Hey, she actually likes going on missions. Well, now that Perlita's gone, is that a big deal or do we still got to find those coordinates? We definitely got to find those coordinates because whatever my BFF apparently is hiding, it's got to be important, right? Maybe it'll reveal something about my past. Maybe it'll reveal something about Chad or like our relationship. Perlita does seem to have some peasy tendencies. Like, did you ever find out why she wears that mask? No, we did not. You have some peasy tendencies. I don't like Project Zorgo. They're a bunch of lamos. Seriously? You don't like Project Zorgo? No. What? You thought I did? You well, thought I missed PZ2? Boom, burn face. I don't care. Well, that's interesting. I'm reconsidering our friendship, Melvin, because I thought you left the Spy Ninjas to rejoin Project Zorgo. No, no, no. You can ask any of the PZ9ers. Why did Melvin leave the Spy Ninjas for clout? <laughs> that's great i guess because we have the same common enemy good thing they haven't messed with me yet not my boy you're not important. oh what did you say you wanted to roast project zorgo oh yeah that's what i said when pz leader wakes up in the morning he uses a wd-40 for lotion <laughs> i think he's a robot <laughs> <laughs> oh that's a good one you're actually really good at roast except for when you roast the spy ninjas okay uh, actually i kind of like the roast that you did too <laughs> well your spy ninja fans were roasting my Oh, yeah. I am an avid coffee drinker. <laughs> Stop! I'm so, I'm so conscious! <laughs> when PC Foom goes to the bathroom, he tells people he's going pee pee. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we're getting close, Melvin. Yeah, that was a long drive. Anyways, I'm gonna pull over here. It looks like we have to get out and uh, walk on foot a little bit. Can you carry the camera work? You gotta learn, Melvin. Oh man, it's a cloudy day. All right, V. Okay, I'm gonna follow the coordinates right here. We're getting super close. Oh no. Look at this field! How are we gonna find any Thing. There's nothing here. Well, what's your GPS say? Are we almost there yet? Come on, Melvin. Oh, I'm gonna get my boots all dusty. We're getting super close. I think we're like 30 feet away. Pick it up. That's close. Okay. Those boots aren't made for running, are they? It looks like this path gets more narrow. Maybe he's at the end. I think we're getting close. It's about time. Whoa, what is this? Looks like someone's living here. Is this where your BFF is? Oh my gosh, I hope not. There's a whole mattress, a jug of water, a McDonald's cup. We must have just missed her by a couple decades or whatever. Definitely got to be around here somewhere. We're standing pretty much right on top of it, Melvin. What? Okay. Start looking. Start digging. Okay. Start doing something. Oh, man, this is some sketchy treasure hunting. And it's starting to rain here. Oh! Right here! Come help me! Ah, uh, you got it, V! What? Come on, Melvin! My boots! Yeah, are you gonna bring it here or do I have to walk up there? <laughs> Look! Whoa! Oh my gosh! Oh, look how dirty and disgusting this is! Oh! You must have been out here for ages! Yeah, just like that mattress over there! Ages! There's definitely a lock on it, but it's starting to rain. And I didn't bring my lock picking kit with me this time! For shame! You don't even know how to use one of those, so be nice to me! I can use a sledgehammer and that'll do the trick, maybe! You need a skillful master lock picker like me to open one of these, and it's at the safe house, so let's go back there! Chad! Daniel, what, there you, are. what oh are you gosh. doing? I was looking all over for you, man! What? I have huge news! What is it? You told me to stay here and look at all these items that yeah. Perlita brought back from the headquarters, right? Yeah, yeah. She snuck into the Project Zorgo headquarters and stole all these things from my childhood. Like these old Weird Al Yankovic cassette tapes. One of my really old, very valuable comic books. I found something crazy inside your comic book right here. In here? Yeah. Check it out. It's another what? comic strip, but like a crappier version. What? Let me see this. Yeah. It's like a kid's comic book. It could be Project Zorgo trying to trick us, too. They might have tried to make it look like I drew this. I don't know. I mean, take a look at the person right here. Let's see. He's got blonde hair, just like you. I'm bored. I spelled bored wrong, but... It's hard to spell when you're little. Sure. So then look. Okay, what's happening I here? I think that's Chad. He says, I'm bored. Uh-huh. He sees something on the ground. Yeah. It's a costume. costume. And look what it is. Spidey costume. Yeah. He puts it on. Puts it 
Spider-Man. I'm Spider-Man. That seems like something you would do, Chad. You love Spider-Man. It's true. I dressed up as Spider-Man all the time when I was little. Now, this is weird. Look, you put the costume on. Uh huh. You go to the comic, comic store, store, and there's and some weird hi. guy. There's a cane. Hi, Sage. This weird guy says hi, Spider-Man. I only talk to you. I have all the answers. It says GKC. Whoa, whoa! I did not notice that before. Wait a second. I did used to go to a comic book shop when I was little, and I talked to this older gentleman who had a cane. I don't remember if his name was Sage or not. And this is so weird. I don't remember drawing this at all, but it like, it's jogging my memory almost like I had a dream about it or something is what it feels like. I guess there is some stuff I don't remember because we found that videotape of me being a little kid at the safe house yard here, swinging around those nunchucks. It's so weird because I don't remember that at all. Some weird stuff happened to you as a kid that involved Project Zorgo, I think, Chad. We have to figure this out. This comic must mean something. I go to a comic book shop there. Is there any comic book shops around here? There's a comic store not too far away from here. If we could talk to that same guy with the cane, he must know stuff about your past. Well, let's go talk to him. In my comic, I drew that I only talk to Spider-Man, he said, in this comic book. So, I guess I'm just gonna have to dress up as Spider-Man, Daniel. Not because I want to. I mean, I hate doing that. Oh, I'm sorry, Chad. You seem like you like it. What? To me? Yeah. No. You had so much fun that last time, rolling around and telling jokes. Rolling around? You mean like, oh, spinning around, swinging my webs? Rolling around. What am I, a dog? Uh, see, it sounds like you're excited. Yeah, yeah. Put the costume on and let's go see this comic guy. All right. Only because it was your idea, Daniel. Okay. I'll go put it on right now. Okay, Chad. Spy Ninjas, it's super important we figure this out. Something weird was going on with Chad when he was little. Something Project Zorga related. Spider Chad! Spider Chad does whatever a Spider Chad can. Oh. Hey, you look fantastic, Chad. Oh, thanks. Now, that comic book sage guy will definitely tell us whatever we want him to tell us. All right, well, let's go uh, meet the sage guy, I guess. Good thing Spider-Man has a DeLorean. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Oh, what oh, a... Oh, here you go. What service? What, what a, a gentleman. Friendly service with the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Oh, thanks, Spider-Man. Just followed by GPS, okay? The comic store. It's a couple blocks down. I gotta take this off for a moment so I don't forget that I'm Chad Wakula instead of Spider-Man. Ooh, yes. I mean, we're so similar, you know, me and Spider- Let's drive! <laughs> yeah, let's get out of here. Woo! Hi, Spy Ninjas. I'm still at PZ2 and PZ Fool Slayer, as you can see. But I'm trapped here on purpose. Me and PZ2, we're becoming really good friends and I'm getting lots of really good information out of him. I'm also getting good information out of PZ Foof too. That's why I'm gonna set up the security camera to get even more information. But I gotta do it quietly because PZ2 can't see me. I'm gonna put my first security camera over here. Where should I put the other security camera? Over here looks nice. I'm gonna put one right here. Here's the camera. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and watch the security cam footage from my phone. No one will bother me in the bathroom. Huh? PZ2, I'm sorry, I gotta go. Ah! I feel kinda bad. But Spy Ninja's gotta do what a Spy Ninja's gotta do. Yes, this has gotta be a Daniel Comics. Look at that, comics and collectibles. I better get ready. If the stage is in there, he only wants to talk to Spider-Man. Then we just gotta, you know, calm down a little bit, Chad. I know you love comics, but we're meeting a random person. He sells comic books. He's not bad. He's a good guy. Some might even say he's a superhero. Let's go get some comics. Oh, this store closed. Oh, man. Oh. Store closed. I got on my Spider-Man costume for nothing. I knew it was gonna be closed, Chad. Everything's closed. What do you mean everything's closed? You know, what's going on in the world? Everything is closed. Oh, the virus? The essential stores are supposed to stay open. Oh, uh, I'm pretty sure comic book stores are not essential, Chad. They're essential. You need entertainment. You need things to read. Chad, get a grip, man. This is probably just a random comic store. What? Anyway. This looks really familiar to me. I feel like I remember this from when I was a kid. Look, Daniel! I knew this was the right place. Look what it is. Amazing Fantasy number 15. The first appearance of Spider-Man. This is where I bought that comic book. That looks just like the thumbnail you guys clicked on. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. This is definitely the place I used to go to as a kid. If ye seek the sage, this is the comic book shop where the sage guy works. Don't be afraid. Bring something to trade. The park. 12 to 4 p.m. What time is it right now? I only have a wristband. There's no watch on here, well, That's Daniel. not gonna work. You're the watch guy, Daniel. I got two watches. Well, look at you. It's getting close to 4. Oh 3.45. Oh, we don't got much time, Daniel. We gotta go to the park. Meet the sage. Maybe he'll have some comic books. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we're on to something here. I think we're actually gonna meet a mystery guy named Sage. Okay, well, at the park. We're here. I got my comic book for the Sage to look at. He should be able to investigate this and tell us everything that there is to know about this comic book. I mean, is he even gonna recognize you? You look a lot older than a uh, five-year-old Chad. He doesn't have to recognize me because he's only talking to Spider-Man. Oh. Remember? 
Let me check the security cameras. Peasy Foomf has got to say some secrets if I'm eavesdropping on him. Peasy Two, where is Regina, the spy ninja? Okay, he's talking to Peasy Two. He better not be mean to my boy, Peasy Two. The bathroom? Yes. Poo poo? Ew! That's why she's so stinky all the time. <laughs> Wait, why are they laughing? They look like they're best friends again. But last I remembered, Foomf was being a mean bean. It always seemed like PZ2 was scared of Foomf, but he ain't scared of him now. It's kind of weird. PZ2, look, you have a hat! <laughs> what is it? <laughs> I mean, maybe they just made up while I was sleeping last night. This is it. I'm gonna find out so many secrets from this laptop. So this is the end of the park, Daniel. Is this even the park over here still? Looks a little sketchy in this area, Chad. This is the only place we haven't looked yet. Starting to think this is all just a dream you had. Do you see what I see? There's a blue thing over there. That's the guy. He's got the cane, the staff. Do you see that? Oh, yeah. That's just super weird. If you're going to go talk to that sage guy, yeah. I think you should be extra careful. He's wearing a hacker mask. You're right. That is a hacker mask. Yeah, you know what? I think we should just abort mission, man. No, we came all this way. We can't abort mission now. I'm going to put on my Spider-Man mask. Everyone loves Spider-Man, even hackers. So you're telling me when you were a little kid, you were talking to this hacker guy? So Project Zorgo has been after you ever since you were a kid. I don't know. Right? Maybe he wasn't a hacker yet back then. I don't know. And you're not thinking clearly. Take it from me, the guy who hasn't been thinking clearly for a long time. You're too into comics, man. Okay, Daniel, I can tell you have your reservations about this. I'm gonna go there by myself. You're gonna help me by staying here and being in my ear on the earpiece, okay? Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll keep an eye on you, but in case something goes wrong, we need like a signal in case I need to tell you to abort mission, abort signal, mission. like a call, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, tell about you what. a bird call? Since there's so many birds around here. Yeah. He won't even notice because he'll just think it's a bird. Yeah, to the average Joe, they'll just be like, oh, that's just a bird. But to me and you, I'll know it's you being a bird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's hear your bird call. Okay, so so here's the signal, okay? Maybe it's just something like a... Uh... That's you... pretty quiet. I don't know if we'll be able to hear that way over there. Oh, come on, Chad. How about more like a... Uh... <laughs> that actually sounds like a chicken or something. There are chickens around here. Yeah, yeah. You hear that? If I hear that, I'll know I'm in danger. That's like my spider sense is tingling. This is perfect, okay. You know what? I have a lot more confidence now. Good. I'm going, Daniel. I'll be talking to you, okay? I'm approaching Daniel. Well, well, well. Traveler? Are you the comic book sage? That depends on who's asking. Who are ye? Well, I am Spider-Man. Ooh, Spider-Man. Oh, man. This is definitely not a good idea. That guy's a hacker. Chad's talking to a hacker. I know he's in disguise as Spider-Man, but still. Are you here to trade some comics? I've got many different varieties of rarities. Oh, one for you, Spider-Man. Spider-Man Spider -Man cards. cards? Yes. Whoa. Very, very, very this is one of the best days ever. Do you have any comic books? Comic books of plenty. Oh, a whole box full of comics? Lots of okay. rarities. This is so weird. Apparently Chad knew who this was when he was a kid. This just seems like a trap to me. Do you have anything to trade? Yes, 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 I do have a comic book here. Uh, but it means a lot to me. I don't know if I'm willing to trade it. Why don't you take a look at it? Let me inspect this with my eyes. It smells very rare. Yes. <laughs> it smells rare. Chad, stop getting distracted. Don't trade stuff. You're here to figure out the whole point of that kid comic that you made. Where did you come across this comic, Traveler? I'm Spider-Man. I wrote it. My first appearance ever. <laughs> Spider-Man didn't write his own comics. Ah, yes. You've passed the test. Let me look at this rare edition. Nice crisp lines. Spent some time in the Northeast this did. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Yes. So I've got a question for you, Sage, the comic book wheeler and dealer and trader. Oh, Daniel. Chad, I know you must be super excited right now. You see a bunch of comics, but just stay focused. You're here to figure out more information about that comic that you wrote as a kid. Yes, he's examining the comic right now, Daniel. Should I ask him where it comes from? Yeah, if he knows about that, he must know about you. Maybe it'll jog his memory, and then he'll tell you stuff about when you were a kid. Ah, okay, yes. Sage, there's something in that comic I would like you to examine. What may that be? I was looking through this comic book, and inside I found a drawing of a, like a little kid's comic book. A comic within a comic? Oh, very rare. 
Yeah, there it is. That's the drawing. Yes, I have seen this before. You, are you really? Legend has it. Very rare issue this is. Wait, you're telling me that within the comic book community that this kid drawing comic book is well known? No, only super fans and sages like me know of the legend of the kid comic and its rarity. Wow. So that means it must be worth a lot of money if it's rare, right? Huh, you cannot put price on something this valuable. I like the sound of this www.youtube.com slash the quaint youtube.com slash the quaint he's just watching the videos i mean that's good make sure y'all are subscribed and make sure you subscribe to chad too i haven't seen that boy in so long oh who did that man nasty what was that pc foof just farted Ugh. Good thing I'm in another room, I can't smell it. Peasy 2, is that you? <gasps> He's blaming Peasy 2. It was clearly Foof. Well, if it stinks, then take a walk. <gasps> he just told Peasy 2 to leave. That means Foof is all alone right now. Now's the time we're gonna begin some good stuff. Damn, it seems like that drawing that I did as a kid, he knows about it somehow. And it's very valuable. I don't know. What, what do I do? Ask him to tell you everything he knows about it, okay? Maybe he has a bunch of old comics you made when you were a kid. And if that's the case, who knows what else he could have? Okay, uh, excuse me, Sage. I'm really curious about this kid's comic book that you say is so rare and legendary. I'd love to know as much as you know about it. Anything you could tell me would be greatly appreciated. Oh, yes. I know lots about this kid comic. Yeah? But... Well, there is a price for the information that you seek. You want something from me? I deserve compensation for the information that I give you. Okay, fine. I really need to know about this kid's comic, so name your price. Price for information on kid comic is the comic book itself. Are you crazy? Amazing Fantasy number 15, that is one of the most valuable comics in the history of comics. It's the first appearance of Spider-Man. I couldn't let that go. Just for some information about this kid comic book. Yes, we have to go get information from my secret stash. That's where I keep all my files. So wait, you gotta bring me somewhere to tell me information about this? Yes, I have volumes on the kid comic. I have other kid comics in my secret Yes, Wait, yes. other kid comics? Very valuable. Oh my gosh, I gotta think Very about this. Valuable. Let me think about this. Daniel, Daniel, he says that he has more kids comic book in his secret stash, but he wants the Amazing Fantasy 15. I can't give that up. It's worth probably a thousand dollars. Uh, well, obviously you can't do that, Chad. This guy's wearing a hacker mask. He can't be trusted. Daniel, I gotta learn more about my past, though. This is driving me crazy. He seems to know a lot. If he's got files and files of my old comic books, I'm pretty sure he's the guy that used to sell me all my comics when I was a kid. Daniel, if you think I should do it, do a single bird call. If you do not think I should do it, do two bird calls. Wait, Daniel, that was two bird calls. That means you don't want me to do it? Chicka darling. Very rare bird. Oh, uh, no, there's lots of chickens around here. Daniel, he heard your chicken, so be careful not so loud next time. I don't want you to trade it, Chad. It's a dumb idea. Don't do it. I don't know, Daniel. I think I should do it. Sage! Do we have a deal, Peter? Huh? He's walking to the kitchen. Of course, he's getting his milk. Oh, he's saying something, but I can't hear him. Is he revealing any secrets? Let me enhance the audio. I am a hacker. I could do that. Peter from this breath. Guys, listen at home. See if you can understand what he's saying. PZ Funk is the best TikTok dancer. PZ Funk is the strongest man in the world. What the heck? I'm getting nothing out of this guy. Okay, he's getting his laptop. This surely means that he's going to be doing something where I can find out more about what Project Zorgo has been up to. Look how sketchy he looks. He's like looking over his shoulder, making sure no one sees. Okay, this is going to be good. This is going to be great, actually. Yes, boom. You got yourself a deal. Ah, Oh, yes, exactly. <gasps> no, Chad, what the heck is he doing? Sealed with the same handshake it is. All right. Find it's... it for life. Yes, so now yes. take me to your secret stash and show me all this secret information you've got on these kids' comic books. He's going to take me to his secret stash and show me everything I need to know about my childhood. This is a horrible idea. Oh, oh, they're leaving. I have every reason to trust him. I knew him when I was a little kid. I think he's trustworthy, you know? Huh? Come, Spider-Man. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. Chad, what are you doing, man? Daniel, I got to go. Just follow me, okay? I need your help, man. He's not, he's not gonna do anything bad to Spider-Man. I'm his hero. Okay, well, I'm gonna be right behind you in case anything goes wrong, but you know what, why do you even need me? You're not even listening to me. 
This is the back entrance to the Black Pyramid. A uh, sage. Uh, yes. This is the Black Pyramid you're leading me to. I thought you were leading me to uh, extra information about the comic book. Yes. In the basement, my secret stash. In the basement of the Black Pyramid? Yes. I thought there was usually uh, hacker bodyguards guarding this place. How come there's none here right now? Sage, no need hacker bodyguards. Sage, call ahead. You call the head? Okay, that's why there's no bodyguards. Okay, okay. All right, there's, there Chad goes. Okay, so we're just gonna go in these doors here? You know what? Maybe this is a good idea because if Project Zorgo has been after Chad ever since he was a little kid, then obviously they would be the ones to have information on him when he was a kid. And right now, they don't know that's Chad. He just thinks he's Spider-Man. In the Black Pyramid, huh? Where, where exactly in the Black Pyramid did you say they were? In the basement, yes. The basement? Years have I been down there? Basement of the Black Pyramid. Got it. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay, he's going in incognito mode. Ooh, whoa. What? Why is he looking up pictures of David Hasselhoff? This is too weird for me. Oh, oh he's getting a phone call. Okay. Hello, it's PC phone. Must be another Project Zorgo member. Oh, nice. Looks like the spider be caught in his own web. What did he say? Spider in his own web? The heck does that mean? If you guys at home know what that means, leave a comment down below. Help a girl out. Say, so where are you taking me, man? I told you, basement to the secret stash. Yes, yes, very old, very big collection of everything. Do, do, do. How far deep down do we gotta go, Sage? The basement mm. is very deep down. So yeah, I'd love to hear more about the kid comic book. What kid drew that? That's really interesting. In due time. Oh, the elevator came to a stop. We must be on our floor. Let's get off. Oh, oh. oh. Surely I must be dreaming. Oh my goodness. Is it really you? It is I, Spider-Man. Oh. Also oh. known as... Peter Parker. The amazing Spider-Man live in person. Oh my goodness, this is just a dream come true. I have read every single comic book since the Amazing Fantasy 15. Wow. Do you happen to own a copy of the Amazing Fantasy 15? Oh no. Oh goodness, if I could just get my hands on that, I would be living in cloud nine. Look at this baby. Look at that, huh? This is amazing. And you are amazing Spider-Man. Oh my goodness. Our floor now. Enough of this. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, we're, we're going to the basement. You're uh, going up, up, so you gotta keep riding, I guess. Uh, I, I could change my plans. Can I come along with you too? Oh, uh, yeah, I think, no. we're gonna, I think we're gonna be busy. No, come on, Peter Parker. Okay, I'm coming. Here we go. Man, it sure is dark in here. Can you turn on a light or something? Oh, this is getting kind of uh, creepy. Right this way, Peter. Oh, thank you. Can I see the secret stash? This is about the kids' comic book, right? Let me get the file. Oh, you're going, you're leaving now to get it, okay. You didn't think you would actually see the secret stash, did you? Oh, I, <laughs> I totally trusted you, yeah. Oh, I'll be right back. Here's uh, my file on the kid comic. <laughs> you got it. Let me see here. Now I remember it originated from a child. Oh, I wonder what special child. I must have been a real special kid. Like, it's such a good drawing. I don't know. Went to GKC. GKC. Very hard. Very hard to get into. What's Gifted the, Kids Center. Gifted Kids Center. G oh, what, what is that? Some sort of school or something? Yes, you must score high on the standardized test. What other information you got in this folder here? Oh, well, you just think that the sage is foolish, don't you? No, oh, you're very wise, very wise indeed. What else you got in there? Everything you need to know is in this file here. Well, thank you so much. Okay. But first, huh? we must trade. Okay, fine. If I give you this comic book, which is very valuable, you will give me this folder containing yes. all the information about the childhood drawing, GKC, and everything else? Yes. Years of research in this folder. Okay, you can have this. Wow, this is really thick. There's a lot of papers in here. Oh, my gosh. I'm gonna... <laughs> so foolish. <laughs> huh? Wait, what do you mean I'm foolish? I think that was a pretty good trade. I have the valuable comic and the kid comic. Yeah. And you have... Nothing in there. What do you mean? Chad? Chad, how did you know that was me, man? You can't fool the sage. <laughs> oh, man, there better be something good in here. That's all I... Oh!